Another question that we get asked a lot is about adhesives. What, how should I glue my veneer down? Now, traditionally, uh, veneer glues were an animal or protein glue, like hide glue, or was made from animal hides, or actually from fish, <laughs> which is kind of odd. But uh, it has a lot of idiosyncrasies in, in the sense that it was a pearl material that had to be dissolved in water and heated, and it was used mainly for traditional type veneers, uh, where you, you're working with an unbacked or a raw veneer. Then came PVA type glues, and PVA type glues uh, initially started out with pretty much straight up polyvinyl acetate, but the drawback to that was it was quite elastic and not very waterproof. And then came the alphalic glues, which were the yellow glues, the carpenter glues. And the nice thing about those is they were quite waterproof, but the downsides were they, they dried very, very fast. So it made it difficult to position your work. And then they came out with ex what they called extended open time versions of that glue, which gave you a little bit longer open time, but the glues became a little bit elastic. And so depending on what you were doing, that could work against you. And then uh, about 20 years ago, they came out with uh, a modified PVAs for pressing veneer and they, it's, you kind of got the best of both worlds. You've got the, the waterproof aspect of it. You've got the ease of use because you could use it multiple ways. You could use it in a vacuum press. You could use it in a platen press. Uh, because the PVAs are sort of a thermal plastic type glue, you could also apply them by hand with an iron. And so that, that's kind of where we've evolved. The best glues for veneering, uh, in my opinion anyway, will be the PVA type glues in terms of ease of use. Now, if you have a vacuum press, it's kind of the best way to go in terms of pressing. Uh, it's relatively inexpensive to set up a vacuum press system and it can do just about anything. You can make forms and do curved work with it. It really works well for flat panel work, and it'll work in a variety of substrates. Remember, we, I mentioned about the plywood being less than stellar in terms of the flatness of the material. If you were using a platen press where you had two flat calls coming together, if there was an impression there and it couldn't meet the pressure, you'd end up getting a bubble in it. But with a vacuum press, it can draw down into, into those slight imperfections. Uh, in mechanical presses, uh, it was the same kind of issue with the plywood. It, it, if you had any, any slight dips in the surface, you could, get, uh, you could get bubbles in the surface. With the MDFs, uh, either the hybrid MDFs or the standard MDFs, vacuum pressing works very, very well with the PVAs. And the PVAs today, you have an open time of roughly five to 20 minutes, depending on the glue that you're using and that allows you to position your workpiece, get it into the press. If it's a vacuum press, evacuating the air out of the bag without compromising the glue line or having the glue set before it draws down and creates pressure. Now, with some of the other boards like the uh, Xterra's and the fire rated boards, because they're treated with a material uh, I think I believe it's borax that's in there. That has a, an adverse reaction to the standard glues, and it'll actually cause you problems. They make specific glues for that uh, that create sort of a wetting action, and will get the fibers to stand up a little bit. So it creates that fish hook that you want with with laminating veneer, and allows the veneer to stick. So you have to remember. If you're using a fire rated material or an exterior grade material that you have the right glue for that particular project.